Hi guys, my name is Omar from Lucas Skoda in Stockport and today I'm going to take you around this very beautiful Skoda Superb SEL trim. Um, what I'm going to do is highlight a couple of the features this vehicle has got and I'm also going to show you uh, some additional extras this car's got that may be beneficial to you. We'll go around the outside, we'll go around the inside, so uh, let me walk you through it. So very quickly starting from the front, uh, this Gold Superb SEL is equipped with front parking sensors. It's got full LED headlamps at the front. The car's also got the optional 19 inch upgraded alloy wheels. The current size is two 3540 R19s. They do really stand out on the car, gives it more present. Taking a quick walk around the vehicle you do actually have privacy glass in the back. You get rear parking sensors on the car as standard. That is also treated with a additional rear camera that this car's got as an added extra. And just the rear wheels here for you. Just coming back around the front as well. Let's take a quick nosy inside. So, taking a quick look into the uh, inside of the vehicle. You've got a manual passenger seat on the vehicle, finished in full leather. It gives you a tremendous amount of leg room, as well as a tremendous amount of headroom. You've got access to the electric windows, you've got easy access to the infotainment screen, and obviously you've got a cooled glove box in the vehicle as well, should you keep anything in there. When it comes to the rear of the Skoda Superb, there is no compromise, to be honest with you. You've got, again, tons of headroom, tons of legroom. You've got full leather seats in the back. And you've also got a little display, which will always come on, on here, showing you what the outside temperature is, etc. Along with the time. Another cool feature I want to demonstrate on the key, if you do hold down the boot button, you do have an electric tailgate which comes standard on the SEL. And when you look at the boot, there is no compromises in space. It's absolutely massive. You get a large amount of room. You get a lot of volume in the boot as well. You've got a bit more storage in here. And more in here as well. Along with Skoda's Simply Clever features where you've got shopping bag hooks, got a 12 out socket in the back, you've also got a removable torch lamp and the same with the shopping bag hooks on this side as well. Now with this boot here, uh, you do have a button to close the boot. Now you can actually have this height adjusted as well. So say for example your garage doors uh, or your garage ceiling isn't as high enough, you can actually set the boot to a distance that suits yourself um, obviously in order to do that you just uh, do exactly what I did I stopped it at the height I want you hold it down the car will acknowledge that you've uh, changed the setting and you've changed the height on it um, and in future reference when it opens it'll just open to the height that you've set it at I'm going to focus on to the main part of this cabin and I will also show you how the panoramic sunroof works on this vehicle. It tilts and slides. Now first of all, sitting in the driver's cabin it is a beautiful place to sit in. You've got your DSG gearbox, you've got your electronic handbrake, again you've got buttons 
for your rear tailgate, your front and rear parking sensors, your mode to drive on eco normal or sport and you've got your start stop functionality of the engine. Now these cars are a keyless entry and keyless go. Just hiding underneath here you've got your adaptive cruise control which again is a standard feature on this vehicle. One of the main highlights you've got on the driver's seat is right down here so you've got your electric operated seats with the memory function you can operate your child locks for the rear seats for the rear door sorry just over here you've got your full four electric windows you've got your automatic lights automatic wipers you've got an automatic dimming rear view mirror and you've also got electric folding dimming door mirrors on the car as well so this specific vehicle has done 10,573 miles. It's got the Columbus screen on the vehicle, which I will demonstrate to you very shortly. And you've also got your front heated seats for both the driver and the passenger. Just to demonstrate the roof coming all the way back. the front you do get this that comes up as standard and again what that does it kind of just traps any kind of dirt and um, for example even flies and little bits from going straight into the cabin it'll try and stop as much as it can operating the front uh, driver's electric seat is pretty simple you can use the middle one to move back and forward you can even use it to adjust the height of the seat where it's adjusting the front height if you press it down here it'll actually move the seat that little bit lower as well and um, you've got this here which will move the backrest forward and back and with this you can actually control the lumbar support on the vehicle so if you move it up once you're sat on the seat and you move it forward you can actually feel the cushion on your back pushing out against your back which does make it comfy on longer journeys should you have uh, a bit of a bad back it does make a difference in the glove box you are equipped with a two memory card readers over here you do have a sim card reader in the middle as well with that sim card reader you can use the car as a wi-fi hotspot you can if you do connect onto the scroll disconnect portal which we can always mention to you which we will always show you at a later stage um, should you should you ask um, you can actually update uh, your maps from there, get live traffic updates, etc. And in the top there, which most cars don't get nowadays, you do also have a CD player and I'm going to say slash DVD player there as well. Other little feature that I wanted to show you as well, obviously the car's connected with Bluetooth as standard. The two memory cards that I've shown you in the glove box earlier on, they will always come up on here. You've got a USB reader which is just over here, and again your CD, DVD players there. You do have wireless on the vehicle should you get that connected via your phone's Bluetooth or using a SIM card. Um, and finally, another massive advantage it's got is it does have a jukebox which is built into the vehicle as well. So you can always, say for argument's sake, put a USB in there with music on and you can actually transfer it and store it into the vehicle's jukebox um, and you can have the music saved in there from then. One of the other features I wanted to demonstrate on the vehicle was the built-in sat-nav. So what I've done here is I've clicked the home button which shows the map, surely if a mobile phone is connected and if you've got any radio on or you're listening to music it'll just come up on the corner here. Should you want to go onto your satellite navigation it's a simple click onto the screen, go into new destination, simply type in the postcode where you want to go to and it will give you three root options. It's very easy to use, user friendly and it's uh, a fantastic big screen um, and a very high resolution map that you'd get. Thank you ever so much for taking the time out and watching this video. Any questions, feel free to get in touch. You can contact me on 0161 333 3377. Simply ask for myself, my name is Omar Razak. The cash price for this vehicle is £19,999. 
all the best for now. Thank you again. Bye.